Welcome back friends. And this time we are going to see how to set up the live agent inside Salesforce. So let's see how we can go ahead. So let's say if we have to set up the live agent inside Salesforce, first of all we have to make sure that we have live agent license with us as well as the service cloud console license. So here I am just confirming that where do I have a live agent. So I go to the feature license section in the company profile and here I have option for service cloud user as well as live agent user. So like here I have total 10 license and out of the 10 license I have used one and I have a remaining 9. Now uh, uh, for the live agent we need actually two buttons. One button which will indicate that the agent is online and one button is agent is offline so here these are the two images of the buttons which I have uploaded in my static resource section so this button will represent online this will, this will represent that the agent is offline so I have uploaded these two buttons inside static resource now we will search for the live if live agent is enabled for your company you will have this kind of the sections inside your admin menu of the Salesforce so first of all we have to go to the live agent settings and we have to make sure that enable live agent is checked and then we have to save it once live agent is enabled for your org we can go ahead and we have to create first skills now skill means it might be possible let's say you are supporting something the support is related to technical issues some process queues issue or something related to sales issue so there may be the any kind of the skill as per you as per your products and as per your company so for example i have added edi skill group and you will have options to assign which agents available agents from your company will handle those skills so like i have added myself in edi skill group now chat buttons now we have to explain him here that how many chat buttons we have uh, here we have to explain the images and everything so let's say the name is like chat button for the EDI skill group we can have different different chat buttons okay now which skill group will handle this something like that we have the routing type it's a choice or we can change it language of the support uh, we actually need the URL of the public sites where from where the buttons will be hosted so here I have already one public site so I am selecting my existing public site now from here you have to select which image should be considered when someone is online from your company and this image is actually saved inside the static resource which we just have seen so now here is my next button all others are like optional we can leave it or we can brand we can change the look and feel of our chat window so scale is done chat button is done once you enable the chat button you will have a source get code enabled so we just have to copy the source code in one of the file there is no need of the prior HTML no need of the HTML knowledge for you you just have to save it so here like I am opening my notepad plus plus editor you can open even the normal notepad or any any editor here so I, I just I'm just saving this code now let's move to the next section so button is done now we have to configure the agents so like like if that let's say if I am the agent here it will decide that what, how, what is the chat capacity for your agent sneak peek enable means if somebody is typing some your end user is typing you, you should be able to you will preview it so that before enter button you can just you should be ready for your answers and then this section is like auto greeting it will greet the end user that welcome to sales for support or welcome to uh, edi skill group support something like that so you can enter your customized customized message so every user configuration can have a different different custom different different messages and uh, these all settings now chatlet means when in the live agent console what should be okay yeah here is auto away now here comes chatlet chatlet means what should be available in the live agent console now which user should be assigned to this profile so of course I am the single user right now so I am adding myself 
now agent configuration is done now we have only last step and last step is deployment so we can have a different different kind of the deployments like we have everything with a few we have agent configuration we have chat button now we just need to deploy it deploy means we will have one source code we just have to copy that source code and we are good to go so deploy every different different deployment will have a different chat window and it it will control that do you want end users to save your transcripts and all all this configuration you can also configure your chat window you can control how it looks and feel and everything this is a permitting domain from there the chat should be enabled if you keep it blank chat can be done from anywhere now i'm not changing anything right now i'm just going with the default configuration now this is the second code so like we already have this code for the chat window and this is the second code uh, you can write this second code in head section or at the end of the body so here hi i have written now i am saving my code as html file so here you don't need in you don't need to be having any knowledge of the html any end user can configure the live agent it's very easy so i just copied these two language i these two pages and i am saving this page as a html so this is my html page so if i open this page i will see the status of the chat the chat is offline and the chat is online now in this case chat is offline of course no user is right now able to handle any chat any ch chat support right so that's why it shows offline now we need to configure the live agents now in the, all the new salesforce in instances we don't have a separate live agent console it is actually now merged with the service cloud console so in order to use a live agent you should use a service cloud console so here i am creating a new service cloud console uh, name something like edi service cloud console with live agent and this is just a normal setup which we normally do for the service cloud console now you can select any object for the time being i'm not selecting anything i'm just going with the defaults so i'm here also i'm not changing anything and this screen is actually my interested screen include live agent now this is the step number six which is important which will explain that this live agent should be added in your service cloud console or not so here i am selected that yes please add this agent in my service cloud console now adding i'm adding all the records where it should be visible and then i'm, I'm clicking on the next button and here almost i am done i will make it visible for every profile and save it so okay now done now i will just change my apps now this is my latest apps if i open here and let's say i'm i'm opening my any sample case or something like that now this is the live agent at the bottom you can see and this is the status which says you are offline online or you are away now now i am on, online so agent is if i refresh this page it should be offline normally it takes a time initially first time it takes a time so after if you try five minutes now it's corrected now it shows agent is online now if you click on that chat button this window will automatically open if this if someone is trying to chat this is the kind of the notification uh, agent will get like i am getting a notification which says there is a new person wants to join chat now it's up to me i should accept or not so let's say i am accepting it once i accept these all are the chartlets remember we selected in that agent configuration so here these all are the chatlets everything everything related will open here so if i go here now by default it's coming welcome to salesforce support we have set up this in our deployment so this is a sneak peek here the customer is writing and he have not clicked even on the send button if you see here the end user is already able to see preview what agent is what the customer is trying to type so in, this will make sure the speed answer to the customer so that they will be happy because at the end of the day customer wants a good support so this is the screen for the uh, agent who is helping to that customer so this is how it goes so now we have already set up our live agent console we have also already our the live window and everything so here if you see we are successfully able to chat with each other 
now this is the article you can attach article you can create the contact information for this person so in the same screen this is the advantage of the service cloud integration with the live agent by default at the same screen you don't have to navigate away you can just enter every every detail here so here it's up to you 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 want now this save chat button we have enabled if we don't want to enable save chat we can disable it uh, the chat is already gone so if the if the customer sign out you will see this kind of the message so that's it here now this this chat will be saved as a live chat transcripts and again if you want you can go offline you can go away if you go away that will become again offline status and this is how live agents works i hope it helps everybody thank you